What's up guys, Erroneous here, back with another Raid Shadow Legends video, and we're going to be running into Live Arena today. It's been a little while since I've done a Live Arena showcase, so I do want to bring that to you guys today. Let's hop right in. Hopefully we can get some wins. If you watched my previous video, I did get uh, the Lady Makage fusion, so that's pretty sick. I just haven't finished building her out yet. I'll give a little sneak peek though real quick for her. She's not done yet, but she's at about 300 speed or so. Let's see where she's at. So she's level 35. I do need more potions, the superior ones. Once I get more of those, I can finish out her ascensions. And then in terms of her actual hit, I just have her in triple protection. And then I think at four piece, she can protect. Chance to place protected buff. I think she does place buffs on allies. So shield, increase attack, increase crit damage on this one and then when she metamorphs i think she placed more buffs if i'm not mistaken increase accuracy here which is nice but mainly i put these pieces on because it helps with the speed as well for a three piece she's at 293 speed so i want her to go fast i'm going to be using her in arena also for fire knight as well once i get her ascensions complete i can throw on an amulet and a banner as well and then maybe i could either put if i have it I don't think I have, well, I guess I do have a ring here, but I need to use my protection ring to get those additional stats. I don't think I have another reaction piece. Yeah, unfortunately I don't have an amulet or a banner with reaction. So I was thinking of possibly putting on refresh amulet just so she can keep refreshing her skills, especially her ally attack, that would be huge. I do have a nice banner here with additional six speed with accuracy because she does need an accuracy banner because I want her to land some skills as well. So a few refresh uh, banners is nice, but probably just going to throw on this one here. Is this one accuracy? No, it's attack. This one's probably not either. Yeah, so this is the only accuracy banner I have for refresh gear. It does have speed. It's a little bit slow, but it's better than nothing. She'll be over 300 speed. That's kind of what I'm looking for, especially if I'm going to use her in live arena or other areas of the game for PvE. So yeah, no masteries yet. I haven't even started working on that yet. I just got her yesterday or the day prior. And so, yeah, we've got one book. That's it on the account because we're free to play. So it's going to take a while to get her fully booked. But it is what it is because it's going to be a long time before I get the second uh, mythical champion anyways, right? So let's hop back in. Let's hopefully get some wins today. I am at 2... 2937. And for the battle log, I lost one, one, two, lost a couple, actually four, one, three, or I won four. So it's like been a wicked back and forth, but it is what it is. I'm just going to hopefully get some wins today. I'm getting closer to, I think I need 17 or 1800 for Hydra, 1800. So I need 300 more crest to get my Hydra speed up to plus 18. So maybe we can get there today. Let's see. I'm definitely not going to be breaking 3,000 today by any means. It's probably going to take me at least another couple weeks, I would say, or maybe at least a week, solid week, to get past 3,000 points for Live Arena. I'm just facing a lot of players who have really, really strong champions, unfortunately for me. So I have to use all the best. That's the sad part about gold is like you have to use your top champs every single time, all the meta champs, or else you just really can't compete. So, and you have to have the craziest gear as well. And unfortunately, I don't have the craziest gear. I have good gear. I have really good gear. But I don't have the top meta champions. I do have good meta champions. They just, the gear isn't good enough on them. We're going to start off with our Duchess. Let's see what we can do here. <clears throat> Max Killer. Oh, geez. Starting off strong. He's going to go straight bombs. He's probably going to increase accuracy. Um, Let's go Elva. Let's go... I guess Pytheon as well. Or I could go Mithrala. But I think I'd rather have multiple revivers. Yeah, let's do that. I mean, he could end up pulling... Maybe he doesn't have Elva. Let's throw in... Sun Wukong, just so he doesn't throw in Sun Wukong, because that, that'll be a problem. 
but um, I really, really want to test out this new fusion or this new mythical Lady Mikage. It's going to be insane. I'm going to be using her a lot in Live Arena. I already have been facing a couple of Lady Mikages in Live Arena over the past day or two where I've been playing, you know, off cam and she's super powerful. She is super powerful. The stun mechanic she has is insane. I just kept getting stunned over and over. Um, he took Elva, of course. Who would have thought? Who would have thought, man? Uh. Wow, okay. I was going to use Elva to cleanse. And he took Elva. Hmm. Does he know I have Elva? I don't know. I guess I could do Mithrala. If he has an increased accuracy, I'll just ban that. And I'll throw in damage here. Could do a red champion. Who am I trying to build up for a red champion that does damage? Actually, now that I think about it, Lady Makage is a force champion. But I think I'll just throw in Samson, to be honest. Is Timmet the Fool a force champion? I think he is. Yes, he is a force champion. I don't think he hits super hard, but I could build him as a damage dealer. I was thinking about it. I haven't tried him yet or tested him out. He's just not super strong, and plus you kind of have to play to his kit a little bit with accuracy, so he's not going to hit as much damage if he has a lot of accuracy, right? They're going to increase attack. I mean, we're going to cleanse. He could ban Mithrala. I think I'm just going to ban this one here, Nishak. Okay, cool. So we'll go with speed. Now, I might have a little bit of an issue with his Hefrak, but I feel like I can beat him. He's going to be in Stone Skin, yeah. Let's see what happens. I do feel like I might have the upper hand here if I can get a cleanse, though. But it is possible he just takes me out with Hefrak and kills my, my Mithrala. Yeah, because he does damage and then he does the rest of the damage. A double hit. Okay, that makes sense. I'm dead. <clears throat> Let's do this. Hopefully, my Mithral is fast enough to lap my champion here in Duchess. So I can do a cleanse. Ah. Uh... Do I risk killing myself? No, let's just try to for damage. I almost did it. He got a counterattack and killed me, though. That sucks. Yes, we survived. Let's go. Nice. Okay. Okay. Please, Mithrala, go first. Damn it. That sucks. That really sucks. Okay. Well, that sucks. This is going to be an L now. And he takes an extra turn. Nice. Petrified. Okay, okay. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Okay. This isn't good. This is not good. Come back to life, buddy. Come on. Cleanse. Oh, no. The petrification. I don't think I can do enough damage through petrification. Yes. No. Damn it. I should have just tried for it and risked it and got a weak hit, but... Oh, well. Damn it, dude. I was honestly thinking I was going to win that one. I mean, it is what it is. Well, yeah, his Hefrak just was uh, strong and he did enough damage. I probably... I need to change my Mithrala into Bolster. I really do. Or put her into Stone Skin. Because her dying like that, because she has no protection, really, is a problem for me. Um, I'm also kind of frustrated because Xena, you can only get her on like 10 X's, which is ridiculous. And why don't they put her on a progressive? They just, they should just put her on a progressive chance event. I mean, they probably will, but it's like impossible to get her and she does smack. I faced Xena. Someone had a plus four Xena and faced me earlier today and just absolutely destroyed me. Freaking demolished my team with Xena. I put the buffs with Duchess. So I waited. And I was hoping he would use his big ability. 
and then I put the buffs afterwards, she got an, ex an extra turn right away, and she absolutely demolished my whole team. Plus four Xena though, that's insane. Like you'd have to really spend a lot of money to get a plus four Xena. But yeah, that was pretty crazy. Let's see if we can get a win though. Uh, I'm assuming he's gonna have Rotos, so. Mm. Thing is, I'm a little f afraid of Sun Wukong's going against me too. But, you know what? Let's just do something different here. Let's go with... Uh, let's go with Stone Skin. Stone Skin Pytheon. Might as well try that out. We can't get slept right away. And this isn't my Stone Skin. This is my Bolster Duchess. Of course he has Kaimar. Let's throw in Foley. And... He does have Polymorph, but let's just throw in Nishak as well. I'm going to try to ban... I might have to ban Seafy. Yeah, let's ban Seafy. We're going to do that. He's probably going to ban my Pytheon now that I think about it. I mean, one star Polymorph I'm not too scared of. I'm more worried about the Duchess placing the block, block debuffs. Um, it's also got Baron. I mean, no matter what way I look at this, this is probably going to be a loss. He's going to refresh, reset, take another turn, lap me multiple times. Uh, Baron just nukes us down to the ground instantly. He's probably going to ban my Pytheon. You know what? We got to Let's try it. Let's try it. He didn't ban my Pytheon. Nice. He actually kept my, my Foley. So I took out Harima because I was kind of... I'm gambling right now. I'm gambling that he wouldn't take out Foley and not take out Pytheon there. And I have to take out Harima so that my Foley can do the maximum amount of damage possible to the enemy team. If he sleeps us with the Kaimar here and we can take a turn with Foley, we could potentially win. But he has to go for the sleep on, on Foley. He's going to speed up. Yep. If he doesn't sleep, let's see. Nice, he did sleep. So Foley, ah, no, he still couldn't lap. I need to rebuild my Foley. He's too slow. He's too slow. Way too slow. 183 speed Foley. He's great for a regular arena and tag team arena, but for here, he has to be at least 210 speed. So he, when he gets slept like that, he gets a 50% turn meter boost. And he has to be able to lap, especially when there's double boosters, turn meter boosters. I just can't lap, unfortunately, with him when they have double turn meter boosters like that. It's just too hard. Maybe I can get a protection going. Duchess is going to need to help here. So he, oh, he's going to be able to sky pierce again too. Shit. It's going to reset, speed up, sky pierce up dead. Yeah, he just keeps lapping. I was really hoping this, that that was a gamble. I was honestly really, really hoping and praying that I'd be able to to take a turn. But yeah, it didn't really work out the way I wanted to. Baron's just kind of insane. Okay, we can come back to life here. Okay, let's see. Can we make a comeback? I don't know. It's still looking a little bleak here. He went for the big damage. He's able to do that again? Already? Was that on a three turn cooldown? Oh my god, he made a mistake. He made a mistake, guys. Holy crap, he had to do it. <laughs> Yo, I made it. <laughs> I can't believe I won that. No. 
No way. <laughs> He's probably so mad. Oh, man. Okay, that was his mistake on that one. I mean, he could have won. But I still had... I still had my Duchess alive. Couldn't kill me. I'm surprised. That just means his Baron's not that strong. Super, super surprised he didn't get me killed. But hey, I'll take it. I'll take the win. I got to revive twice. I had a stone skin on my Pytheon. I had the bolster, but it doesn't really work against Baron's ability. We just were able to survive from the damage mitigation passive from Duchess and Pytheon. So that's actually huge. We'll take it. Let's go with my Duchess again. We'll go with the... And this is my really slow bolster Duchess. She's very, very slow. She's only like 160 speed, I think. But she has like... I think she has like 110,000 HP, which isn't even that good. Not very great. Uh, he's going with speed and Sun Wukong, who I hate. But I think I'll just stick with using Ultimate Death Knight again. We'll throw in Foley as well, but I think I'm going to wait for Foley. If he picks Foley, then that it just sucks for me. I'm going to go with Pytheon again, though. Pytheon and Duchess just pair up so, so well together. I use them all the time because of how much damage mitigation as a team and how they synergize to, together as a team, how well it works against the enemy. We can take more hits because of that. Hefrak. Seems like it's a Hefrak kind of day. I mean, I'm going to do this. My issue is Leorius. Leorius is a bigger problem, I feel like, than Hefrak. Because Hefrak, I can take a hit with the bolster. If he has a Kaimar, that's even more of an issue. Um, I could do bombs as well. Maybe we'll do that. Yeah, let's do bombs, actually. Because then it forces him to have to bring in, like, a cleanser, potentially. Which I'm fine with. As long as he doesn't have Marichka. If he has Marichka, I'm screwed. I am totally screwed. Mr. Cap. No cap. All right, Mr. Cap, come on. What you got? Captain Crunch. Okay, somebody with another Lady Lady Mikage. Okay, that's interesting. Um, I think I'll just ban the speed, honestly. If I ban the speed, will he take a turn before me? Or I could just ban Sun Wukong. Because of all the strips and stuff. Yeah, let's ban Sun Wukong. So he did ban my bombs. I can go with speed. Yeah, let's go with speed. And the Sun Wukong would have tried to strip any buffs that we place. I don't want that. I was hoping to get the bombs, though, with Nishak. It is what it is. I think I'll still have enough damage if I can survive and get a couple revives off just with Foley because he doesn't have anybody that can block my revive so he should be good and I just hope that he uses all his big abilities right away so he'll ally attack most likely into Foley oh he's gonna stun instead okay um oh, oh wait I forgot she does buff removal I totally forgot that now, let's just go ahead and cleanse now. Alright, that's not good. Taking his health down that, that low is not good. I mean, it's good that we procced his unkillable, but we're going to probably die, though. He's going to take a turn and kill me. So I might as well just... I could bring up my attack, but I think that... Hefrak's going to take a turn first, so it'll just be a waste. Damn. He did. <laughs> he didn't take a turn first. Oh, no. They didn't die. And the freaking... The Soul Reap didn't work. That's not good. We might die here. It's going to speed up, right? No. Place strengthen. Hopefully, we can survive the smack, but we're probably not surviving. Wow, we just barely survived. Holy crap. I can take her out, but then I'm going to get killed. So let's just uh, do a revive. 
If I can take a turn with my ultimate Death Knight before Leorius, maybe we can get a kill here. Ah, oh, she decreased turn meter on my ultimate. Not good, not good at all. Yeah, we're dead. Oh man, no revive. And my uh, holy's a bit too slow here. No! How did he decrease my turn meter again? Nice! Okay. Wait a minute. Can I kill him? I'm positive affinity. So hopefully he doesn't hit a crit. Hit weak hits, please. Dude, how, bro? I'm positive affinity. Oh my god, that's ridiculous. When you're positive affinity and then he gets multiple crit hits in a row, like that, that really, really irritates the crap out of me. He's only 6.3 million player power and already has like tons of meta champs, so that's a big spender. Big whale alert. Oh man, that was annoying. I should have been able to win that, to be honest. I should have been able to win. I kind of want to face him again. Of course, I'm not facing him. All right, let's do this. So, starting off with Death Knight. Probably gonna throw in Wukong then. Let's go with speed this time. Let's see what he does. Does he does he have a uh, Tormund? If he has Tormund, oh, okay. So that's why he did that. Let's go with damage then. Let's go with triple hitter Basilius got speed huh maybe I can go with Ramantu actually let's go with Uko let's go with Uko and then we'll go with possibly another damage dealer or Duchess Because I don't think... Oh, Harima, of course. Yikes. Um, I think I might need to even just take out CP. Because she empowers Rodos way too much. And he bans my speed, probably. Who can I bring in here? <sighs> okay, let's go with Nishak, I guess. Actually, no, let's just do Duchess. Let's be safe here. Let's be safe. Let's try to get a revive going. Um, they go too fast. That's a problem. You know what? Let's ban Rodos. I was going to ban CV, but honestly, Harima, it was kind of a toss up between Rodos, CV, or Harima. We might be faster, potentially. Took out my big damage, but maybe we can take him out? I think with all the revives, it might be a problem. Oh, stone skin, of course. Can we strip? No, that sucks. Come on, strip. There we go. All right, let's see if we can kill Harima. Not quite. Increased defense kept her alive, alongside with Ultimate Death Knight. If she didn't have increased defense, he would have been. She would have been dead. A hundred percent, she would have been dead. I need Uko to work his magic here. He's really got to get stuns here. One AOE. Oof. Okay. We didn't die. We're still looking okay, though, I, I think. I don't know. She still didn't die? Really? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. There's a stun. Triple hitter again. 
Let's go. Got him this time. Nice stun there. That's perfect. I'm gonna go after Seafy now. Hopefully we can kill Seafy. But she's gonna revive, so... I don't know. And then she'll take a turn, triple hit, and then she'll provoke everybody. Okay, yeah, this looks like a loss. Unless we can get stuns. Nope. Ugh, I'm kind of gambling on the stuns right now. Good accuracy, too, on the ultimate death knight. And I got the fear. Beautiful. Lucky. Lucky fear, man. Slept. The revive going. Hey, come on, you need to get some stuns, man. Come on. Help me out. She's speeding up again? No. <clears throat> At this rate, with all these provokes, I'm going to lose. It's like she keeps getting the same ability back over and over. Who's she going to attack? Duchess, yeah, I figured. Come on, get some stuns, please. No stuns, still. Ooh, I survived that. Nice. That was an onslaught right there. He's going to attack her. No, he's going to attack Duchess again. Really? He did attack her. I'm surprised. Let's do this. And let's try to stun. Nope, still no stun. There's a stun, okay. Finally got another turn with him. Took a while. He's gonna cleanse, though. Here comes the cleanse. No, okay, so she took a turn before him. Kinda lucky me, a little bit. If he AoEs, okay, thank god. Still no stun, come on. Come on, man. I need your stuns. That's all I need. Triple hit into her. Take her out again. Come on. Resisted. Give me a 3%, please, on Ultimate Death Knight to remove these buffs. He's got really high resistance. Alright. He's gonna sleep. Who? Probably Uko. It makes sense to sleep Uko at this point. No, he didn't. Come on, get some stuns, Uko. Capitalize, bro. You need to capitalize on that. Oh my goodness. I literally need to capitalize on that. Without those stuns, I'm not going to win. If I do this now... Does she go before my Uko? You know what? Let's just do it. Let's just do it. I don't want to risk it. Let's get some stuns. Come on. What's What just happened? Did the game just lag out? Oh, okay. I was going to say. <laughs> it like froze for a sec. Damn. My Duchess just keeps getting stunned like crazy. He's going to AoE. Kill my guy. Yep. That sucks. There's another, another fear. Just wonderful. Another fear. Nice, dude. 50-50. Fear, 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 man. Finally stealing some buffs here. Should have been stealing buffs for a while. He's still barely, barely stealing buffs this fight. It's gonna zap her. Yep, slept her. I need to do something here, or else it's over. If he gets another provoke, it's over. Yep, it's over. Nothing I can do at this point. 
I mean, I can keep trying, but I don't think I'm going to win this one. Just was not getting enough stuns. And my Basilius wasn't able to get enough turns. Sleepy, see, Seafy sleeping at the right times as well. That's a problem. There's another sleep. Yeah, we're done. GG's. All right. That sucks. Seafy is absolute god tier. God mode Seafy. Now, he did take the ultimate death knight right off the bat, so he kind of set himself up for that. I don't have Seafy. I don't have Rotos, so I can't do anything about that, or else I probably would pick a Seafy. You know what I mean? Oh, TT Joe. This is the guy that just beat me. I think this is one that I want to face again. Oh, he's, get to, he's getting to go first. That's fantastic. Uh, he's the one that has the Hefrak, I believe. And I think he also had Lady Mikage, if I'm not mistaken. It's going to go super fast. Um, Or this is the one where I was saying how I needed my champions in bolster. So we're going to try... Elva? I think he used Elva last time. Maybe. Did he use Elva last time? I forget. Dang it. Elva or. I mean, I think I used Pythion. Eh, whatever. He's probably going to pick Elva. If he does, then that's the one who did it. Fine. Maybe I'll go with Bombs again. Oh, he has Kaimar. Okay, he had Kaimar. He was sleeping. We've got this, this, and I think I'm just going to ban. Hmm. Maybe I'll ban his Arbiter this time. And then I'll bring in. What's his name? Samson. Oh, he's the one with Baron. Oh, I think I banned his Baron. Or no, I did I ban his Baron? No, I think I banned his Harima last time. And I beat him. I think this is the guy that I might have beat, actually. Did I ban Harima. Do I still win, though? I don't know. Let's ban Harima again. Oh, he banned my fully this time, so he might actually win this time. We go with resist. Nah, let's go with speed. He's going to go really fast. So last time he lost against my Foley. Okay. I beat this guy. I thought this is the guy that I lost against. Maybe not. Probably okay. I thought he was gonna sleep. He's gonna sleep now, obviously. I mean, maybe my Mithrala can take a turn though. Resisted and resisted here as well. Does he kill us all? Let's see. Nope, not even close. Yeah, he has a weak Baron. His Baron's really weak. Samsung's taking him out right now. <laughs> um, Do I put on Strengthen now? Yeah, I might as well. Let's do this so he can't sleep us. And Kaimar can do a reset, but he can't sleep us. He can try to heal up his Baron, but he's going to probably die here. I think. I think we get the win here. Again. I can take off the increased defense with Samsung's ability. Oh, he, he speeds up over my Samsung, maybe. Wow, he sped up faster than my Samsung. That's crazy. He still couldn't kill us. Dude, his Baron's so weak. Why is his Baron so weak? I don't understand. Usually I lose against Barons all the time. I'm going second against him. TT Joe. Yeah, I beat him. 
What the heck? Why is this Baron so weak? There's no reason why he should be losing. Any typical Baron user would have killed me, like, if he had a reset like that. Most Baron users would kill me. So, hey, it is what it is. I mean, I'll take the win. I'll take the win. We've got seven seconds, five seconds to find a fight, so let's do it. Hopefully we can get a fight in. Nice. I'm facing him again. <laughs> oh, well, we know his Baron's really weak, so... <laughs> this is hilarious. Oh my god. Oh man, I feel bad for him a little bit. Um Nah, I don't feel bad. Never mind. I don't feel bad. Build your Baron. Just just build a stronger Baron, that's all. I'm sure with the Dark Fae rotation going on, he'll be able to get a stronger Baron in the future. Uh let's see. Let me go ahead and put in my Samson, I, well, I'll, I'll wait because I don't need to right now. Throw in Pythion again. And I can throw in Mithrala as well. Yeah, Mithrala is good for the strengthens. And... You know what? Nah, let's go with... Um, Baron's obviously going to smack. I feel like I could even throw in her. But no, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna throw in Mithrala. If I throw off, if I start switching champions now, I'll probably end up losing. So I'm just gonna stick with what I was doing. You know, if it, if the shoe fits, right? Might as well keep doing what you were doing. Uh, this time he's going with Nishak instead. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Um. Is he gonna go Nishak Baron or Kaimar at the end? I'm probably still going to ban his Harima. And I will go with the Resistance. I'll still throw in Samson. And this time, because he's Red Affinity all across the board here, I think I'll throw in him. And I will throw in... I think I'll throw in him, Sun Wukong. Because Foley, I mean... Yeah, fully strong, but against Red Affinity, he's not as strong, and I don't want to risk it for getting a weak hit. So, let's see what happens here. Does he do Kaimar, or does he do Baron again? I, I still think, yeah. So, we're going to go ahead and just ban Harima again. He probably bans Mithrala. He should ban Mithrala. Let's see. No, he banned the wrong one. He's not going to land bombs on my Mithrala. Hey, it's fine. Hey, he's just, he's having a ba bad day. He's having a bad day. That's all there is to it. I don't, I don't know what to say. You know, this guy's having a bad day. TT Joe, man, you got a good roster. You just, uh, the picks aren't the best. That's all. And upgrade your Baron and your Golden, bro. You upgrade your Baron, you're gonna be a freaking beast. Cause I know people that have taken the Baron strat all the way up through to like 3,400 points and been doing just fine. Yeah, he's not landing on anybody. Especially not my Samson because he's a green affinity, so he got weak hit. Um, so this is even an easier win. The Baron is better. It's just that he doesn't have enough damage. And I can just cleanse. So, and then I, I do with the counterattack now with my go second. Um, he can reset, but it's too late, you know? Unless he has his sleep back and, and removal of all buffs. Then maybe he'll create a comeback for himself, but I don't I don't really foresee that happening now. Yeah. Even if he does a revive and speeds up, I'm gonna take a turn with Samson. Yeah, it's over. GG's. And that's it for the last one. <laughs> the Monkey Bros do it again. The Monkey Bros all day. 196k on Samson. He's so good. I mean, I'll take the last couple of wins. He was... He's got a good roster. He's got a good roster. ET Joe, it's just not your night against me. But everybody else, though, smacked me. You see a lot of Harimas, too, that were in the pick and ban phase. So Harimas are really, really strong in Live Arena. 
and in general, they're super strong in arena and tag team as well. I mean, I got a few wins here and there. Clearly, I didn't get enough for obtaining some more um, levels for the Hydra speed, but it is what it is. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, Winter's Path. I'm still working on this. I haven't been doing the best. We still have two days left, so good luck if you're doing that. But that's going to be it for this one, guys. I really appreciate you. And hope you have a great evening. Hope you have a great day. See you on the next one. Bye.